Andrew. Hello, Phineas. Good morning, madam. Good morning. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Sorry, sorry. It's all right. Yo, 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 yo. I'm too sorry, madam. Sorry. It's all right. What are you doing? Yes. What are you doing? I'm opening the gate. How do I get out of here? No, it's all right. I, uh, I... No, I just, uh... I'm getting out. No, it's okay. I just have to. What are you doing now? Well, I'm, I'm closing the gate, but, but don't worry. Crazy! This thing is running crazy. You want to get me killed? Are you crazy? All right, Miss Thompson, it'll come back. What? The line's over, it'll come back. What do you mean it'll come back? It's all right. I suppose you think that was funny. I'm sorry, the brakes don't work. I noticed. She stopped. I noticed. Can you start her again? No, we gave her new rings and they're very tight. How far are we from the mission? About 30 miles. Will we get there before dark? I don't know. This thing has stopped. I noticed. Are you sure you can't start her again? Yes, this morning it took a horse and three men. So now what? Well, I can make a fire and there's some food. A sleeping bag. Spend the night? I'm afraid so. You sure this thing stopped? Yes, didn't you notice? I can carry you across, then you uh, don't have to. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry. Look at my dress. My shoes. I lost my shoes. Your what? My shoes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, watch it, Buster. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll fit you no, back. No, don't. You'll drop them. I'll get them myself. Thank you. 
Its legs went round and round instead of up and down, and there was a weird-looking guard on its back. He wore a blue skin on his head and a red one on his body, and hair grew on his face. What the hell happened? Where have you been? The Reverend is doing his nut. The funny thing about these gods was that they couldn't speak. They could only make chattering sounds like monkeys. Hi. But what happened, man? Where's the Antichrist? What the hell did you do that for? Huh? I'll tell you later. Let's get it down. Yes, yes, yes. Here comes the great white hunter to the rescue. Miss Thompson, I presume. Hello, Stain. How would you like to travel in style for a change? Yes, thank you. How do you open this thing with a can opener? <laughs> Quaint, milady. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Stain, for... Bye-bye, uh, Stain. Uh, goodbye, Mr. Thompson. By the way, I am Jack Hyde. Boy, is the Reverend worried. He got to me on the short wave, so I offered to come and look for you, and that was very sweet of me. Sure was. Would you like to sit over there? Sure. Oh, thank you, Mr. Stain. See you, Stain. See you, Woody. I'm a lunatic and I don't blame her. You know, she asks me, what do I do? And I say I collect manure. I don't tell her I analyze it for my doctoral thesis. I bet you she thinks I shovel this stuff. Was it rough? I'd rather not talk about it. Ah, that rough. Well, it won't be long now and your suffering will be over. Only when you get to the mission, you'll have to stand there and look beautiful for a few minutes while the whole tribe sings their welcome song at you. Then you can relax, have a bath and a nice breakfast. Is it true that when a rhino sees a fire, he stamps it out? Where did you hear that one? Good stain tell it. Now, why would he want to tell you a thing like that? I'd rather not talk about it. Yeah, let's put some hair on your chest. That's all I need. She wouldn't believe me about the warthog and the bloody rhinoceros. What bloody rhinoceros? I don't want to talk about it. So how did this thing get up the tree? Uh, she got stuck in a wait a bit tree and I... So... You know, she's got flowers on her panties. So that's how this thing got up the tree? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 